So my project is the mobile app. Uh, so what's, uh, you might remember that some time ago I showed you guys uh, TikRack, basically a rack uh, mapper in a tic-tac box uh, at the moment currently powered by the USB uh, uh, charging. Uh, but the whole point is it runs effectively as a mapper without any GPS and it works because uh, rack uh, devices have Bluetooth on board and uh, with a bit of messing around because I was lazy and that was my first mistake. I went with App Inventor and created an app that basically generates entire data frames for Rack Mapper um, on the phone and uses Bluetooth to actually ping that out purely because Rack has uh, a very nice feature 80 plus send and you just send an 80 command. Uh, and it's so nice and, uh, and easy to work with. Uh, barring of course some Bluetooth stupidities uh, which means that you have to slice the message and deliver it in chunks, then reassemble on the device to actually pump it out of the radio. Um, yeah, but in the end, it works. So the app um, cleared finally after several attempts, the app cleared uh, Google Play Store. It's unfortunately only um, uh, Android at this stage. Um, yeah, and it's available. I'll drop the link in, uh, in the chat. Uh, it works directly with um, Rack firmware. So when the rack mapper starts, uh, there is no modifications to the mapper itself. You can take the rack uh, 40, uh, 4631, put the rack mapper on it. Uh, the, the software that basically um, is on the WIS blog, on the WIS blog, uh, blog post, um, you, can, you can literally take that, put it on. And when the device starts, you have 30 seconds to effectively pair with it. And it just works. Um, I'll send a link uh, if anyone wants to test the app. It's in a open testing at the moment, uh, so feedback more than welcome, please. Uh, it's very basic, and I will be adding some more features in the in the near future.